So it says this, it says, Mary was troubled at his sayings. Then the angel said to her, you can see her, the word of God says to her, do not be afraid. Can I tell you something? God says the exact same thing to you and he says it to me, don't be afraid. And you say, well, what does he mean like don't be afraid? Well, this is what it is. You've got people today who are afraid. They're afraid of make, making known to people that they believe God's word. They're afraid, what will my family say? What will the people in work say? What will my friends say? What will they think? And God's word to you today is, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to follow him. Don't be a, a, afraid to get into the word of God. Don't be afraid to think, know his thoughts towards you. Don't worry what your pals are saying, what everybody else is saying. You know, it's amazing that like, um, in, you know, like, say, like, in our Western society, in, in Britain where we're here, the new, you speak about God, man, it's like, it's like Aramatha, it's like a curse word, isn't it? You know, I don't speak about God, don't speak about Jesus as, a, as if it makes you dead weak and dead wimpy and, and dead soft and all that. I'm telling you, I've seen things and, and there's a thing you know, and it's in Brazil, and I'm telling you, and I'm speaking in Glasgow, right, so I don't know who's going to get this message or tape or whereabouts around the world you're going to get, but I'm in Glasgow, and we've got prisons here, like Berlin prison, and, and I can I know prisons down in Manchester, like, you know, like, you know, doing in Salford and prisons down there and, and they all think they're hard men and right tough guys and that. I'm telling you, there's prisons in Brazil right now and I'm telling you, these guys are, you know, that they're out and out murderers since they're like 10 and 11 year old. They're into organised crime. They're, they're being reared as, um, you know, like career criminals. They, they're, they're, they're seeped in it. They're, they're born into gangs. Their families gangs. Their mothers are gangs. Their fathers are in gangs. They're never coming to gangs. And I'll tell you, there was a documentary on about these people. And they are boldly confessing Jesus Christ as our Lord and Saviour. I mean, they hate the lifestyle they're in. They hate it, the crime they're in. But they're in it because of poverty. They're in it because they need to earn money. And it's a lifestyle. But I'll tell you what, these people, and this is what they're saying. I'm talking about people, I'm telling you, and people are terrified of them because they're organised crime syndicates. And this is what they're saying. They have a love for God first. Their family second. Then their gang's third. It's wrong, I'm not like, saying what they're doing inside, it's wrong. But I'll tell you what, even in their heart, they've got a fear of God and, and there's no fear to tell their gang members that God comes first to them. But you know, if they knew the truth, the truth would set them free, they'd come away from gangs, they'd come away from that crime. But I'm trying to put a thing where people who are really, I mean, they're, they're fearless, they're, 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 nothing intimidates them. And I'll tell you what, they've still got a fear of God in their heart. And we come here and people are scared to talk about God. It's amazing. So watch this, right? So the God's word to you today is don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of what people say, or what, what families say, or what friends say, or what they think. See, God's words to you today is don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to act on God's word for you. He's given you a promise. And the promise is to cover your life with his favour. And his word to you is this, that you have found favour with God. I hope I'm getting this through to you tonight. You know, like me and Pastor Henry come here, we make these um, these video footage to get it downloaded so you you can hear us. Honestly, I'm telling you, you know, like, it's like Apostle Paul says, we'll beat us if we don't bring this message to you. You know, we're compelled with, with the Lord. It's, we're, we're gifting, we're calling to bring his message again. But what I'm saying is, like, we don't get a clap in the bank for this. You know, like, we don't get any bonuses in heaven for this. We don't get any rewards for doing this. We do this because we want you to experience the freedom that can come by knowing this living God. I'm telling you, the Bible's not just words, it's no pages, it's no ink and paper. It says it's alive, it's active, it's, you know, if you ask the Holy Spirit, if you ask God to come real to you, he'll come more real to you and your mother, your father, your best friends, but you really need to desire it. You, need, you really need to want the favour of God to come in your life. The favour of God coming in your life is the Holy Spirit. And if you experience that, I'm telling you, everything else will just go to war. You don't worry. So it says this, that you have found favour with God. And Luke 1, verse 31, it says this. And he says to Mary, he says, And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth. Now, this is what I'm trying to bring across to you tonight. And I know I'm talking about Mary here, but, you know, God's speaking to you. And just the same as Mary had to conceive in her womb and bring forth Christ, you need to bring into your heart, into your womb, sort of, and receive the Holy Spirit and bring forth life into your thing. But watch this, it says this here, and behold you will conceive in your womb and bring forth. And why is that? It says because you have found favour with God. So 
this is what God's saying to you, that he wants you to find the same favour in your life that Mary found. He wants you to be an entrepreneurial person in spirit. You need to conceive the seed of the word like Mary did. You need to conceive that word into your promise, into your heart for God's word to you. For you to be responsible, you need to do something. You need to conceive the word. Like she had to say, Lord, let it be unto me as your word says. You need to say, Lord, let it be unto me as this preacher saying tonight on the telly. Let the word come into my life tonight. Let it change me, Lord. Help me to be successful in life. Help me. And the Lord says, I'll do that for you. He says, if you can do something for me, what is it I can do for you? You know, the God makes it a day. He says, this is all I want you to do for me. When you hear the word getting spoke, believe it and receive it. And that's what the Lord says, receive it into the room of your heart. Receive it in there. And this is what happens, right? You found favour with God and you need to conceive the seed of the word into you, your promise, into your life. For God's word to you is this, that you need to be responsible. See, you, the responsibility has to allow you to conceive. You need to conceive the business idea. You need to conceive the ability to invent and think up new opportunities. You need to design and plan and create and produce. You need to find the imagination to be proactive, to be productive. And it says, and your potential will all operate through faith. Because see, for, for, for Mary to conceive, she had to get impregnated with a word. And that's what we're doing tonight, speaking this to you. You need to get impregnated. You need that thing to come. You need to conceive that and go, ah, I'm listening to what this guy is saying, man. I'm telling this, he's witnessing to me. And, and go, I'm going to start conceiving my life. I'm going to start thinking different. I'm going to start thinking positive. I'm going to start changing my mind and saying, you know, like, can I go here? What if I can't get a job? Forget about a job. Get a business. Go, ah, well, I've need money. Well, go to God and say, if I'm highly favoured for you, show me a way to earn some money. Show me a way to open the door. I'll tell you, listen, I'm not saying it's going to happen on Monday or Tuesday for you, but I must say this to you. You keep standing in the word of God. It's God's promise to you. He's a God who can't lie, and it will come. It will come. The, the doors will open, and things will start changing. And who knows, maybe a year, two years down the road, you go, how did I get here? Because you heard this word. That's how you got there. And the favour of God's come into your life. Now watch this. So you're the one who's responsible for conceiving the word and being proactive and productive. And it says, and your potential is your faith, and it will bring forth, just like it says to Mary, you can see this word, you'll bring forth, you'll bring forth. You'll be productive. And this is how you become productive. You bring life into your vision. You bring life into your hopes and your dreams. Your future depends on you, settling it in your heart. And it tells you, and look, it goes on to verse 31, verse 37, it says, For with God, nothing will be impossible. With God, nothing will be impossible. No word from God is void of power. Do you know, I'm sitting here and, and I'm telling you all this stuff and, you know, uh, and people might be hearing it and, and you're not a Christian, you just maybe come onto the, the website and you're like, man, what's this guy talking about? I was the exact same. The pastor that's sitting there with the camera was the exact same. We were all like you. I mean, we were all brought up and, you know, like, I probably we were all brought up in slums and ghettos, you know what I mean? We don't like saying that, they? we don't like to think we came up in that kind of environment. Or that. But we all came up in the streets, we all came up in slums, we all came up in ghettos. We all had, but it ain't, you know, like people can say they had a life of crime, but we all had a funky lifestyle. You know what I mean? We all had funky things that we'd done in life that, you know, like at the end of the day, unless you're going to fully it all your life and have it, and even me saying that, it's no fair because I've seen career criminals, I'm telling you, have gave their hearts to the Lord and and turn because of the, the message of the favour of God coming out of life. So let me go on, on to this in Luke 1 30. It says this, and Mary said, said this, Behold, the maid servant of the Lord, let it be unto me according to your word. Do you know that's what you need to do tonight when I'm speaking this? You need to say, you know, if that's true what you're saying, let it, let it, let, let, let the change come into my life. Let it be unto me as you're, you're, you're speaking about preacher. Let, let it come into my life. Let the favour of God come into my life. And you know what the Lord says? I'm not going to kick that door in. He says, you invite me in. And I'm telling you all you need to do is just say, Lord, if what he's saying is true and I can have the favour of God in my life and, and I can see everything changing around, I'm asking you, come into my life the day, the, the day and make a change. And you know, God's a, a good God. He'll come in and he'll make the changes in your life that you need. You watch this. 